Hi there, this is Mark from Lanagard again. Um, just This is uh, using Lanagard Outdoor on my bike. And the reason I'm doing this is because, foolishly, I left my bike outside um, and didn't. Uh, though I did um, Lanagard other bikes, I didn't do my own. And that's because I usually keep it indoors and don't use it quite so much. But anyway, it's been outside for a while and uh, Although you can see um, a little bit of Lanagard on that chain, uh, I haven't done it lately, so I'm going to do it. Um, and uh, obviously the whole bike generally is pretty good, but little things like this you know, um, have been got to by the weather. So um, I'm just going to show you quickly. I've got a mutton cloth here, um, which is part of this stuff before. I've made a little video of what they stock in that mutton cloth. This is an absorbent cotton cloth that I can use as an ideal way of, of putting it on. So um, how I will do that is either spray the cloth or spray the frame and use the cloth to wipe it down. So obviously I'd, um, what I need to be sure of is you don't want to get it on the rims, obviously, because it it's a lubricant as well, so it would affect the brakes. So, you know, we, we just want to be careful when putting it on any of the spokes. Um, and uh, but yeah just generally I want to lube the chain and that's quite easy so I'm going to start with that one obviously lubing the chain kind of you know just gently squeezing the bottle you can see uh, I'm getting it all over the, the dralia there so I just spray upwards to avoid the, the the rim and you can see already that that makes a big difference so that that will just get get working that I'll obviously rotate the um, chain in a second and then in here, I usually spray with a cloth. It's quite difficult because I'm holding the camera. Um, but I will try and set the camera up so that it can be done. So I put a cloth underneath like so, and then spray into the cloth. And then move that along like so, but obviously I usually do it with two hands when I don't have a camera. So it's just protecting the, 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 the Lanagar from going on the wheel too much, but also ensuring it covers everywhere on the chain and then once I'm done um, I'll then rub the chain with the cloth to ensure that it's not too heavy um, uh, and um, is now just protected out of the way. <coughs> so um, yeah same with the, obviously the crank and anywhere else we want to, to do. Um, you see the gist of that and I'll do the rest of the chain and then on the frame um, you can see I've got these cables are not good, so I'm going to spray on the top here, um, like so. I'm basically going to spray the whole frame, and then I'm going to um, use the cloth, the mutton cloth, to wipe over it. So here again, just mind the brake blocks, or mask them up. It's probably a better bet. But I'm just doing a very quick video here because because uh, the opportunity to do so. So I'm just um, doing that, and you can see I've got a rusty cable here as well. So I need to be doing that. It's a real shame, very silly of me not to have done this. Um, you can see there, rusty brake caliper lever. Um, so yeah, I'll do the rest of the chain and little areas of the bike, and then as I say, um, how I will. And you can see I've just put Lanagard over the whole frame. I will then, um, I don't put it on the handlebars, of course, or on the brakes, really. But then I will just get the cloth and wipe it down so that it's not heavy coated. So we will get this, because it, it doesn't need to be too heavy, especially not on paintwork. Um, you can see there, it's, it's quite shiny when you finish as well, which is nice. You even make black go back to black. Um, so you can see what I'm doing there, just giving it a, making sure it's got a light coating all over really. Um, sorry, I'm not moving the camera very well, am I? But there you are, you can see it's, it's on there now. It's on, it's, it's sort of on my forks, you can see. Like so. And that, that's really all you need to do. Uh, obviously, you know, do it quite quite thoroughly. Um, you might want to use some of the outdoor grease if there's any areas that you're more concerned about. And you can use the outdoor grease for the the bike chain, although it's probably not quite so necessary as it is as a motorbike chain. But um, yeah, that does work well. So there you go. Just a brief video. You can see why I need to be 
and a guarding my bike and, and roughly how and I'll just finish the job without holding the camera I hope that's useful uh, let me know if you've got any questions on any of it so Nanogard outdoor liquid on push bikes as a chain lube and a surface protectant thanks a lot